morning guys welcome to the vlog so sean is a week old today and i am a week postpartum so i wanted to vlog today kind of catch you guys up on like how i've been doing with postpartum i've gotten a lot of questions about just postpartum care and like how i've been feeling and like more so how i'm taking care of myself and just the adjustment to like having the three kids now so that's what i want to like mainly focus on today so i thought it would be a good opportunity because i think with jackson i also filmed a vlog of like one week postpartum which i haven't gone back to watch but i'm curious like how things are different this time around i do feel like some things are different so i will try to mention them throughout the rest of this video but overall feeling good like um last night uh, sean was up every like two or so hours like he's still likes to kind of comfort nurse he'll nurse for like five or so minutes and then go back to sleep but i am up quite a bit throughout the night surprisingly though like i feel good like <laughs> despite the lack of sleep maybe i've just gotten used to it or maybe it's because jackson was so much worse at this point that this is like not that bad <laughs> compared to that so far like i don't want to like get ahead of myself but so far he doesn't seem to be as like refluxy or colicky as jackson was um but there's still time for that to happen unfortunately so anyway i have my little setup here i've got my coffee and then i have like breakfast number one over here i've got these booby bars i shared them on instagram but i got i get them from thrive so they're a little cheaper on thrive but they have them on amazon too so i'll link them for you guys but they have been one of my favorite things for nursing because they're supposed to like just help with some milk production and they taste like a candy bar. They taste really, really good. So I have that and then I have my big thing of water um, and then I get to just like watch him here while he hopefully just like hangs out for a few minutes. I'm still like trying to figure out like his kind of like rhythm. He still doesn't have like a full on schedule. I've been nursing on demand so that kind of also like and like there's no set schedule i can't tell you like oh at seven he's gonna eat and then at 10 he's gonna eat and then whenever he's gonna eat like i literally just go off of his cues and when it seems like he's hungry or he's screaming <laughs> and that's when i feed him so it's not often that i can like have a hot cup of coffee or lately like every time i brew some tea by the time i get around to drinking the tea it is freaking cold because i can't drink anything hot like when he's on me because i'm scared that i'm gonna drop it on him so i'm gonna have like my pre-breakfast this is what i would call like my pre-breakfast and then in maybe like 30 minutes or an hour i'll go and make myself some real breakfast because i've been starving that is one thing with nursing with postpartum that like i forget every time just like how hungry you are so i've been trying to make sure that at least i'm fueling my body so that i don't like totally shut down but yeah excited to take you guys along throughout the day and just show you guys some stuff i'll go upstairs in a little while show you like the postpartum care stuff like what i'm using what i'm wearing that kind of stuff but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video hey bud so yeah not even two minutes later <laughs> and he started crying so i don't know if he's hungry yet i'm trying to figure it out is he hungry does he just want to lay on me bless you either way <laughs> it is fine did you finish your breakfast Riley? Yes. hi jackson did you finish? Yes. Very good. Why do you get so angry? Okay, hold on. All right, breakfast number one is done. I gave Sean to um to Joe so he could hang out with him a little bit. He's passed out again. So next thing on my list of things to do so that I can function the rest of the day is to refill my water. So I wanted to share this new tumbler that I got with you guys because today's video is sponsored by Elo and I'm so excited to be working with them again. I worked with them not too long ago on another like thermos that they had. But this is their new 40 ounce um, port tumbler, which is very much like a dupe for like the very popular tumbler that everyone and their mother has. I'm sure you guys have seen it, but I actually have a Stanley uh, cup or tumbler. I like this one 10 times more and I'm going to tell you why. So this has been my best friend since I got home from the hospital, since I started with all of the nursing. I never let this like be out of my sight because I need to be drinking a lot of water. So this one, like I said, it's 40 ounces. It's got vacuum insulated stainless steel. So it's going to keep your drinks super cold for a really long time so if you put something cold in here like 20 hours it's gonna keep it cold and then you can also keep hot stuff in here and it's gonna keep it hot for about four hours so it's gonna do what it's supposed to do plus it fits in your cup holder like the other day we took um, Sean to his doctor's appointment I was able to bring this right with me fits in the cup holder so I can bring it along my favorite feature though you guys is like the little carrier loop on the top because if I can't like devote an entire hand 
So carrying it like this, then I can just grab it with just like a few fingers and then carry it with the loop. So that is just great for on the go. And then you can use the straw. So you can drink straight from the straw if you have something cold. Or what you can do is you can just twist this off and you can take out the straw and then you twist it back on and then you can drink straight from like the lid and then you can close it so you can close it like this and then that way it doesn't spill so for me like if i'm on the go if i want to bring my coffee with me i can carry it like this and then i don't have to worry about it spilling if i have to like throw it <laughs> across the car or i have to throw it into the passenger seat i know that it's covered and that for me alone is like a great feature of this tumbler so yeah i filled it up filled it up with some new ice because i hadn't filled it up since last night i'm gonna put the straw back because this is how i have it around the house it does come in a few different colors so you can check out the different colors i just liked it white nice and clean but there's like a really pretty like kind of purpley color baby blue so the colors are really cute and then one of the best parts is like the price so you guys know that some of these tumblers can be really expensive this one is in my opinion just as good if not better like i said i like this little carrier loop feature so much better than the other tumbler that I have, um, but it's like a fraction of the price. Price point is $29.99, so I feel like that is great because at the end of the day, you want a cup that works and you want it to keep your drinks cold or hot, but you also don't want to have to like pay a fortune for like a tumbler for a cup. So I think this is great and I'm super happy that I got to share it with you guys. When they reached out to me about working together, I was like, this is perfect because literally I'm gonna be attached to a tumbler postpartum when I'm nursing. So definitely make sure that if you guys are also pregnant, if you're nursing, I make sure that you're drinking a lot and I've been doing that a lot this time around and I feel like it's been helping with just like my overall swelling. Like, I don't know if you can tell in the last vlog, but in the last vlog, um, I was like a lot puffier. I'm still kind of puffy, but I feel like not as much. So anyway, now that this is full, let's see. I don't know, Joe's got the baby, so I just want to run away and just go do a few things while he's content. But thank you again to Elo for sponsoring today's video. I'll have a link down below where you can grab it if you want to check one out for yourself or if you want to gift it, if you like it would be a great gift for a mom who's like about to like give birth or a mom who's like currently in postpartum or just literally anyone, like anyone who's like busy on the go who wants to stay hydrated. This makes for a really good gift. So let's go see what else I can share with you guys. All right, so I am back and I am nap trapped again. Um, Joe had to hand him over to me. So I figured that while he just hangs out here, I can kind of tell you why I haven't been putting him in the baby carrier yet. So. Again, a situation like this would be perfect for me to put him in the baby carrier and like get some stuff done. And I hope that eventually I will get there. But in terms of my postpartum like recovery, I still feel really um, sore down there in that area. So we're a week postpartum. I feel like mentally I'm feeling pretty good. Like other than that, physically feeling good, like walking around and all of that. But I think that because I probably haven't sat as much as I should like I'm still doing stuff around the house I'm still taking care of the kids I'm still doing a bunch of stuff I haven't just been hanging out in bed all day long I can definitely feel it in terms of like the soreness in like down there where this baby came out of. so I'm trying my hardest to like not hold him too much and like walk around the house or like have him in the carrier because it's gonna put a lot more pressure in that area so times like this i'm just relegated <laughs> so times like this i'm just on the couch and and that's fine so for the soreness and like the pain i will say it's getting better but i still am trying to alternate between motrin and tylenol i'm trying to slowly wean off of the motrin so like if i don't need to take the motrin i'm just taking the two tylenol but like since i woke up this morning i haven't taken anything so i'm starting to kind of feel a little bit sore down there. I got asked like, oh, did you tear? Um, did you get stitches? So I did have a small first degree tear. I'm not sure if I told you guys that in the last vlog. So I did have stitches. I am still bleeding. And then the bleeding is weird because it's like some days it's like lighter and then other days like it's heavier. But one of the things that they tell you to look out for is like if you're passing clots, like you don't want to be passing giant clots, which so far I'm not. So I'm sure that that's just like normal postpartum bleeding. But like the first couple days that we were home, my whole upper body hurt. I guess from like pulling my legs and pushing and like all of like the actual laboring, like it took a toll on my body. So now like my arms don't hurt. It's really just like down there in that area. And then of course, like when you're trying to nurse and you're trying to like, you know, position yourself, like half the time you're like spreading your legs out and like trying to contort yourself 
to like fit this tiny human and every time i do that i'm like oh my god am i gonna like break a stitch open like am i gonna just like start bleeding here but the motrin and the tylenol have helped so i'm all for that like i don't want to take you know medicine forever if i don't have to but at the same time it does make me feel better so there's no shame in like continuing to use that this guy this is just like his favorite position whether it's on me <laughs> or whether it's on joe he just likes to just be on top of your chest so i'm thinking that eventually maybe next week at some point i'll start using the baby carrier i think he's gonna like it because that's kind of like the position that you're in when you're in the baby carrier only i can get up and my arm is not falling off like me walking around with him in one hand riley what have you been doing hey hey you're you're kind of holding her the wrong way like her head is like upside down almost lift her head there oh, that's a little better <laughs> did she like her bath you wrapped her up in a kitchen oh, towel? Oh no. Very nice. Wet the rug. Why did you wet the rug? Oh, because she's leaking? No, she's... Jackson, you want to show the guys your dinos? Here, take the camera. Okay. All right, hold the camera. Hold it tight. And show them your dinos. Hello. Oh, see me. My frog. All right, our frog. Me fix. This is my tiny tiny uh, baby. The other way. This is my tiny tiny baby brother. What's his name? Sean, baby Sean. What do you like about him? That he's so graceful when he's sleeping. Is he? Do you like it when he cries? Kind of. You like it when he cries? That's not nice. I think one of the hardest parts about all of this has been like keeping the kids entertained because obviously like there's a lot going on and they want to do fun stuff and we're trying to continue to balance that like I keep telling you guys. So yesterday we made or the day before maybe we made Play-Doh and like got them back to doing some of like the normal stuff that they would do before the baby was here. So I was able to like pass off the baby. I forget. If it was to my mom or to Joe, we made some Play-Doh. And then yesterday we started a little bit back getting into the swing of things with homeschool with Riley. So I was sitting here on the couch and Riley was reading some of her little books to me while the baby was nursing. So slowly we're trying to get back into like a rhythm of like having them have stuff that's like fun for them to do. It's been like the hardest thing is like, I know that they're B-O-R-E-D and I know that they want stuff to do so we're working on it, but I'll tell you guys more about it upstairs because I don't want them to really like listen completely. But you know, they've had to adjust a bit and you know, we're feeling it as a family. It's still the greatest blessing. It's still like I know in the long run, everyone will be fine, but I'd be lying if I said that like nothing was changed or if the kids weren't feeling it or they were acting completely normal because that's not the case. <laughs> Stairs in my room. Joe left for he had to run a quick errand. So this is officially the first time that I am alone with all three kids. So I brought the kids to my room. I'm trying to get Sean to take a nap and just get used to being placed in the bassinet because the bassinet next to our bed, he hasn't been sleeping in there. Like he's been totally co-sleeping at night in the bed with me. So he doesn't seem to be a huge fan of the bassinet. So I'm trying to like, like I turned off all the lights in there and the kids are watching TV in there, but I'm trying to see if like by having the lights dim, he will at least, I don't know that he's gonna go to sleep, but at least get used to just kind of resting in there. He's all swaddled up. So we'll see, at the very least, it gives me a chance to like pee if I needed to. And I'm gonna switch out some laundry. So I don't know, maybe he's like calm in there for just a second. I was washing some of his clothes earlier. So let me just transfer this really fast. There we go. All right, I don't have a great place to put my tripod. 
so I'm gonna be bending down. But these are a couple of the things that I've been using nonstop since we came home from the hospital. So the Perry bottle, this is the one that they gave us at the hospital. It's the only one I ended up using. So this is like you fill it up with warm water and then after like you pee or whatever, this is what you squirt down there to clean that area. So I've been using that and then I've shown you this a million times, the perineal spray. It's also like something that you will spray down there, helps everything like just heal better. So I've been using that. The hospital did give me like tux pads. So I'm not sure if you've seen these before, if you've had a baby before, you've probably seen them. But they're basically just these little like circular disc pads look like this you put them right on your underwear or on your pad or whatever it is that you're using and then that gives everything like a nice cooling sensation and it helps with healing because the active ingredient is witch hazel so i used that maybe like the first couple of days when i was in the hospital but I haven't really used that too much since coming home because this is really what i've been using for the most part for healing Right, I was able to move him to the little bouncer. I keep this bouncer here upstairs and he seems to be really comfy in it. This is what I also like put him in if I have to like run to the bathroom or if I'm like trying to put on my makeup. Don't wake up, don't wake up. All right, so this bag, this bag was all stuff that they gave me at the hospital for postpartum care. So you have literally like, look at the size of these things. This is stuff that they give you. Like they give you these in case you want to like put them on your bed since you're like bleeding and stuff. So they give you that, and then at least, again, this is the hospital where I gave birth. They give you those, they give you like different pads of different sizes, and then they give you the mesh underwear so that you put on the mesh underwear. I don't have an extra one because I used all of those. And then they give you like a pad that looks like this. So I, for the, the first couple days in the hospital, was wearing the mesh panties with one of these and then with like a regular pad on top just because of how much bleeding there was. So that was kind of like the postpartum care situation, the mesh panties in the hospital. Then when I came home from the hospital, I started wearing these, which are like the full on uh, like adult diapers. And I liked these for a little bit, like for the next couple days. It just looked like this, put them on and they're just like a legit diaper. So there's obviously like padding situation in here. So that if you're bleeding, all you do is, um, you can obviously like add pads inside if you're like heavily bleeding, but I would just wear this. Um, and then when it was dirty, I would just throw it away. So these are the adult diapers. The only thing about these that I didn't love is that, I don't know, when you wear them, like you've got like a whole like big booty <laughs> situation. Like think of kids that wear diapers. Like, you know, you can obviously tell that they're wearing diapers. Um, so you can tell like that you're wearing a diaper if you've got like anything tight on. So I was wearing these like when we were just like hanging out at home when no one was around or at night. That's what I used those for. But then now like a week postpartum, what I graduated to wearing maybe like a few days ago, which I think I've really enjoyed surprisingly, were the Freedom Mom um, disposable boy shorts. So this is very similar to the mesh underwear that they give you at the hospital. It just looks like this and it looks like a little boy short. There isn't any like padding to this. So you don't want to like just put this on. You want to like add a pad on here, or add something so that you're not like just going through these because you'll leak through these if you don't put anything. But it is meant to like hold everything nicely in place. So I went and I bought these pads, this brand, and these are just like thin pads. Hold on, let me show you. So again, at this point, a week postpartum, I've been wearing this and then adding just a very thin pad underneath. And then this just kind of tucks everything in, keeps everything nice and tight. And they are high-waisted. I won't show you like the whole thing, but you know, they're high-waisted boy short kind of underwear. And then what's nice is that you see, you can see kind of like the line of like the boy short, but it's not like, I feel like I'm wearing a huge diaper. So those have been like the different things that I've alternated through, but you've got to figure out what you like, what's going to work for you. All right. It's a little later. Surprisingly, Sean took a nap in that bassinet for a good like 20 minutes. He stayed in there longer than he has all this time. So I was happy about that. Joe just got back from his errand, so now he gets to hang out with little dude. Let me see if his eyes are open. Oh, yeah. He usually has his eyes open when he hangs out with Joe. <laughs> I don't know why he likes to like look at the world when you're around. Joe takes him on little trips to look outside. Tours. Little tours of the backyard. Outside safari yesterday. Oh, an outside safari. <laughs> Were you looking at the bugs? Oh, he was asleep. Oh, he was asleep? 
So look how big. Say hello to. Oh, what? Your baby is, is also eating her lunch? Very good. I need to eat something. Wait, I think he's closing his eyes again. Oh, you bored him. He looks so cute. Okay, so this is gonna be lunch for now. I've got my water, but then I'm also gonna have a body armor. I showed you guys these on Instagram that I've been trying to drink one a day to help with supply. Some people say that it helps with supply, with milk supply. So I've tried the fruit punch. And I really like that one, but I'm gonna try blue raspberry today. The other thing that I've been drinking that has been, I believe, helping my supply is this. I've been having this tea at night. So the milkmaid tea, it says it helps support breast milk production and it tastes really nice. It's just like calming at night. And then in the pantry, look down here, this is where I have like all those booby bars that I was showing you earlier. These are amazing. And then I've also been eating these lactation cookies, which taste so good. Both of those things just taste like such a treat. So I've got all of that. I've got a bunch of just other granola bars and snacks for breastfeeding. So I'm trying to like stay stocked with like a bunch of treats like that. And then I've got these bites that I really like. Okay, blue raspberry is really good. And fruit punch is really good. I also tried the pineapple coconut that um, they had not too long ago there. I tried that one and that one was good. A lot of you guys told me there's like a peach one that's good. But I made Joe go to Publix yesterday because they had the cases, like eight of them, um, buy one, get one free. So I got like 16 of them for the price of just the eight. So that was a good deal. So we stocked up this fridge and then the fridge in the in the uh, garage with a bunch of body armor. So if there's anything else that you guys know of that helps with supply that you guys like that tastes good, let me know down below. Hey Riley. What happened to your pajamas? They used to be pants. Now they're jeans. Now they're shorts. Now they're <laughs> she had a massive hole in her pants, like on her knee. So we changed them up and made them shorts. We cut them up. Do you like them now? Mm -hmm. And can you tell me what we're watching on TV? Shark. Shark. We're still watching sharks. Still into all the shark documentaries. What's yeah. your favorite shark documentary? Uh, the Megalodon one. Why do you like that one so much? Because I love Megalodon. Yeah? All right, um, little dude is look, still look. sleeping. <laughs> so we're gonna do some reading with Riley. You need to show you me like your what? tongue. You want me to show you my tongue? Yeah. Uh, it's green. It's green, yeah. So we're gonna do some reading. You wanna hold your book? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're gonna read that one, it's called? The Pen. Okay. The pen is big. I love them. A log is in the pond. But I have to be able to see it so I can tell you. Pen. A pen. log is in the pen. Hip. Can dig. A. Hold. Sound it out. Pit. 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 Pit.
is there another baby inside he would have severely have like offended me if i took those things seriously but just know that like you're still gonna look a little bit bloated your uterus is still like contracting back so that's another question that i got i got like when i did a q a on instagram the other day somebody asked me if i was wearing one of those like um like those garter things not garter things but like one of those what do you call them like the belly bands to help like the the belly kind of get back and like a little bit more tight and this time around i am not like i have one and i'm not sure if i actually use mine with jackson or not but here in like this random pile of clothes that i brought from the other house this is like clothes that i still have to put away i saw it the other um day see like this thing is like one of those um things that you put around your belly and it's supposed to like tighten things up the thing is that this is not comfortable at all and that's like the last thing that i want on my belly at this point in time so i have one i don't think i'm gonna use it some people swear by those things what i have found that i actually like to wear more is like any kind of like high-waisted um biker shorts like i have a couple high-waisted maternity um biker shorts that are like a little bit tighter up top those i have liked because it kind of gives you a little bit of that compression a little bit of that support without it being uncomfortable these things are honestly just like torturous and when you're trying to sit down and nurse and trying to get comfortable like that's like the last thing i think that you need or want in your life so that's my two cents on that um i just thought i would share because that's a question that continues to come up for some odd reason i think there's a company called blanky if i'm not mistaken i've never bought any of their stuff before but they have clothes and like compression shorts and stuff that are made specifically for postpartum so maybe you can look into something like that but those things that you can get on amazon i don't know i just feel like that's torturous but this pj i do like and this pj it comes in a bunch of i think it's like two other colors so i will link this one for you guys in case you want something I don't know cute to wear like it's comfy i'm not even gonna change out of this today like i have been trying to get dressed for the most part most days and i do a little bit of face makeup so that i can feel a little bit better about my life but this pj is so cute that i don't even feel bad walking around the house with it and i still feel like somewhat put together so let's see if i can put away some clothes but i also hear the baby so i might have to go feed him first it is a little later this guy took the longest nap on the snuggle me and i'm gonna have to keep feeding him now i woke up and started feeding him but now he's getting cranky can i show you what my other child is doing john was over here on the snuggle me and this is jackson <laughs> jackson is passed out on the couch so exhausted we also got the nicest delivery just now we got pizza <laughs> sent to us from um, this super sweet couple from the church that we're going to. My friend had messaged me and she's like, can we please send something over for you guys for dinner? And it was just so thoughtful, so sweet. So we're gonna have pizza, have some dessert. I was feeding um, Sean and of course, Riley was like, the pizza's here, can we go get the pizza? She's been <laughs> starving for hours because she can eat pizza. literally every second. Be careful, it's gonna fall. Seriously, like one of the nicest things that I have experienced in this um, like postpartum period since being home. One of the nicest things that we've experienced is having people make food for us, you guys. Like that has meant 
so much <laughs> to me just having like Mimi, you know, make some stuff for us. My sister made some food for us. I still haven't dug into what my sister made for us, but like my mom made that lasagna and then she made like the burrito bowls. Um, that we were able to eat and then freeze the other half for like another meal So if you yourselves are um, Pregnant and people are asking you like what do you want? Do you need anything for the baby? Like I had a lot of stuff for the baby and I didn't really need a whole lot of stuff I didn't even do a baby shower like you guys know that but just like asking for some food or saying like hey I wouldn't turn down some food you're gonna want it and enjoy it and something that's super practical because when you have your hands full like this especially the first like week or two it's so nice to like have food that you didn't have to make and that you didn't have to like go out and figure out what you're gonna order so this is a huge blessing and i'm so grateful for that i'm so grateful to her and her husband for sending us over pizza today and then likewise like if you know anyone in your life who is pregnant who will be giving birth soon Offer to take them a meal, offer to send them a meal, offer to send them an Uber Eats gift card or, you know, make something homemade and send it to their house or just leave it at their door if they don't want visitors. Like anything like that really helps. I know that there's also a website you can go to called, um, I think like look it up. I think it might be like mealtrain.com or something about a meal train. We used to do meal trains a lot when we were in Virginia in the moms group that we were a part of. So that was a really nice way to like coordinate it if you have like a big group of friends or a big group of family members or whatever because you could like select time slots and like day slots and like what you're gonna be sending and you could also likewise say, hey, I'm gonna send you um, a gift card for food. Like it's a more organized way of doing it, but even if you don't go that route, like food in general in the postpartum period is just a huge gift, a huge blessing. So I just wanted to make sure to share that with you guys. All right, so we are done with dinner and it's actually pretty early today all things considered it's like 7 10. so um the kids are already bathed and they're downstairs watching a movie joe's with all the kids so i decided to come upstairs since i have a minute and i'm gonna jump in the shower so that way i can get a nice shower in that's also one of the things that has been helping postpartum is like really trying to prioritize showering and like i said earlier like trying to just freshen up a bit not that i ever do like a full like i don't have like my curls done or i don't have like a like my hair looks atrocious right now but you know i don't have like a full face of makeup but just like little things like that that make me feel like myself have been really nice so i did want to really quickly since the kids are not around just talk about them because like poor things like obviously i know that having another member in the family is going to be a hard transition and it's just so funny because i really thought jackson was going to have the harder of the transition like between the two kids but it looks like riley is really starting to feel it and i guess that's to be expected like she's almost six she you know understands a lot more of like what's happening she's very bright so like the other day i felt so bad because i told her something like um, I don't know like when we get back from this I think maybe like when I get back from the doctor's appointment um, For Sean, I'll do something with you something to that effect and she said oh no You're not because you're gonna be too busy with the baby <laughs> You broke my heart in a million pieces and then the other day she did ask she was like Why do you love the baby more than me and again, which broke my heart and I was like obviously that is not true so like I can tell that she's feeling like stuff is happening and then she's been acting out a lot i think both of them have started to act out but more so her again she's older she understands more she's processing these things so just like having a bigger attitude i mean she's always had an attitude but you know just a bigger attitude and just like not listening and having tantrums and you know i'm sure that that's all normal i know a lot of you guys when i shared on instagram that she was kind of struggling with that a lot of you guys were saying that your you know kids went through the same thing that for some of them it took several months to kind of like level out again so i'm gonna be really patient with her with both of the kids and just try to give them a lot of grace but at the same time like you know still have to like discipline them like i can't just let them do whatever they want so that's been like something that i've you know just been having 
to try to deal with you know yes it's super important to spend like one-on-one -on -one time with them like i think that can be a really good thing but at the same time like the first couple weeks that might not be something that is super feasible i have told joe though like you know he's got to spend more time with them he needs to like engage with them and he's really good about it like today he took them outside and they were like riding their bikes and they were looking for bugs um he might take them to the park and like find some other stuff for them to do but at the same time like he's going to do these things but i know that they want me like they want specific attention from me and so that's where eventually i'll get there but when I'm trying to heal, when I've got like, you know, all down there hurts, I can't really walk around, I can't really go places, I can't do much yet. It's um, like, it's a little hard. Like actually this past Sunday, Joe took the kids to church and I didn't go to church because I was what, like, I don't know, four days postpartum or something like that. So I wasn't gonna want to be like walking around, being around a bunch of people and stuff. So I told them like, I told Riley the night before, I was like, just so you know, tomorrow dad is gonna take you guys to church and mom is gonna stay home. And she lost it, she had a fit. She's like, why can't you go? Why, why are you not gonna be with us? So things like that. I know are new for her. Like I know that I'm trying to do the best that I can for everybody, but like there's only so many ways that I can split myself right now. So any opportunity that I get, I try to like tell her to come and snuggle with me. Jackson makes it very known. Like he tells me I want some hotness. He tells me that he wants hotness. He likes like the warmth of me. So he comes and like anytime that I'm not like with the baby on top of me, he'll come and he'll be like, oh good, now I get cuddles and he'll come and cuddle me. So he kind of just does it like whenever he feels like he can. But Riley, I think, I don't know, just like the tantrums and like the attitude has been extra whatever it is lately. So I know it has to do with a lot of the change. If you guys have any tips, if you've been through the same thing, please let me know down below. Anything that I can maybe implement or, you know, anything that you think might be helpful. I'm happy to hear it. Like I said, as time goes on, then I can be like, all right, I'm going to leave the baby with Joe, with my mom, and I can go do one-on-one -on -one things with the kids. It's just for a very short season where maybe it's a little bit harder for me to do that. So that's all. Just doing the best that I can over here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a shower, like I said. But that's kind of how things have been going a week postpartum. I hope this video kind of, I don't know, just gave you an idea of what that looks like for me this time around. This time around so far, like, thank the Lord. I am very grateful <laughs> for the fact that I'm feeling pretty good. Minimal pain and then just mentally, I feel like I'm in a really good place. So I hope and pray that it continues to be the case. But I love being able to share this with you guys and being able to vlog and make these videos. Like, that's definitely part of what helps my mental health postpartum like giving me something like you know to do that you know i did before i gave birth like this is kind of like my outlet that kind of grounds me and keeps me you know kind of not feeling overwhelmed by all the change like this is like the one constant in my life for what like the past six plus years at this point so i'm happy to make videos for you guys and i'll be vlogging throughout the week but thank you for watching this one and again i want to thank elo for sponsoring today's video remember if you guys want to check out that tumblr it's bomb. I've been drinking from it all day today. My water is still cold. I filled it up with more water just a little while ago, but there was still ice in there. So I've been loving that thing and I love, you know, just being able to work with them. So again, I'll have the link where you can shop it in the description box if you want to check that out. And thank you just for being here and for watching and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys real soon in my next video. Bye guys.